the JAMA Network. Yeah, so we did great overnight. Residents and interns are an integral part of the medical team at many U.S. hospitals. If they call you and tell you that your potassium is really high and you need to take it, then you'll have it. Okay. Right. Traditionally, these doctors in training have worked very long hours. It used to be the case that they could work as many hours as the hospital they worked in needed them to. The initial concerns were mainly over whether or not these long shifts were causing um, poor outcomes or medical errors in the hospital. So in 2011, the rules changed from working a maximum of 30 consecutive hours to 16 for interns and up to 28 for residents. Doctors Mitash Patel and Kevin Volk from the University of Pennsylvania and co-authors evaluated whether this cut in duty hours affected death or readmission rates for almost 3 million hospitalized Medicare patients. In the first year after the reforms, there was no positive or negative association with the duty hour reforms and changes in patient death or readmissions to the hospital. The study appears in JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. This was an important finding because there were both hopes that quality would improve significantly and concerns that it might actually get worse. Neither happened, but the changes were major. The duty hour reforms was a significant intervention and implementation across all teaching hospitals in the United States. While they may be important in terms of having better rested interns and residents, may not directly lead to significant improvements in patient outcomes. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.